What is up, everybody? Ethan Newberry, the Ginger Runner here for another Ginger Runner review. Uh, it's review week, which means Monday through Friday, I'm gonna be dropping a new review. Today is day number two, and I think you've been wanting this one for quite some time. So I'm excited to present to you from Hoka One One, the Torrent. Torrents. Uh, yeah, since I teased that I had this parachute in rotation uh, a couple of weeks ago, the comments have proved that you've been waiting for this one for quite some time. So I'm excited to present to you my review of the Hoka One One Torrents. The Torrents seems to be a fun byproduct of the Speed Goat 2's grippiness, a tight and responsive Waka midsole, the Speed Instinct 2's low profile, slap a nice light mesh upper onto this thing, you've got yourself a fast little trail beast. Kind of like the Honey Badger of the Hoka lineup. Small and light, but packing a big punch. It runs as one of the most unhoka hokas, which in this case, I think is a great thing. I've been enjoying a lot of my miles in it. It does come with a couple of hiccups, but overall, I've been really pleased with the Hoka Torrent. Let's get into the things that I like and dislike about this shoe, as with all of my reviews, starting with things that I like. Fast. Right out of the box, the shoe just, it feels fast. It's not one of those big, clunky, overbuilt shoes. It's a light and tight package, perfectly designed for the race environment. One thing that it provides that contributes to that fastness is, is the feeling of confidence on the trail. From the grip, to the fit, you can feel the freedom to shred without the doubt that the shoe is gonna come off the platform, trip you up, cause issues. It's nice to have that bonded relationship with your shoe. Also due in part to the grip. Despite the fact that the shoe has a low profile and is fairly lightweight, the grippiness is outstanding. And the shoe has those big lugs that we've come to know on the Speed Go 2, the recent Mafate that I reviewed. But when you see these big guys on a shoe uh, in this smaller package, it's nice. Great to have that added grip when you need it. The Speed Instincts also from Hoka didn't have this much lug underneath and this feels good. It definitely gives you that added confidence on the trails. So good job on the grippiness. Great for wet, great for dry, and the lugs are actually holding up really well with all the abuse and miles that I'm throwing at them. So. Good grip. And finally, design. I gotta give it to Hoka here. They are known for their built up shoes. Shoes with real big, thick midsoles, a lot of cushioning, uppers that sometimes feel constrained, overly built, thick. And that's definitely the perception from a consumer standpoint. But the Torrent is great because it kind of does away with all the big elements and just keeps things fairly simple. It's got a nice, responsive, tight, yet cushioned midsole. Great for speed work, great for that snappy feel. Plenty of grip on the outsole, as I already mentioned. And the upper is also really light and airy. So all of these combined made for a really well design shoe that I think will fit more feet than people expect. That's what I mean when I refer to it as an unhoka hoka. It's nice to see him branch out and start to create things for a lot of the people that don't want max cushion. It's not to say that the torrent is all butterflies and licorice ropes. There are a couple of things that do bug me about this shoe. First of all, fit. This is something that uh, I've noticed with this shoe. The upper fits perfect right out of the box. After maybe 20 to 30 miles of wear, the upper begins to stretch, giving you a lot more volume in the upper of the shoe, which in most cases is a good thing. But when you have a perfect fit right out of the box and that begins to stretch, that added volume actually contributes to a worse fit. It's difficult to get the lacing just right across the midfoot. I do find myself having to stop at least once on every run in the shoe to readjust the laces. And that basically means going all the way down to the base lace and getting each dimension of it tightened just Right. It's a bit annoying and honestly just a byproduct of putting a lot of miles in the shoe and the upper beginning to stretch. Midsole wear. So I've had this issue with a lot of ultras and other shoes in the past where the midsole starts out really cushioned and nice, but prematurely begins to wear through, flatten out, and you lose a lot of that original cushion and comfort. The torrents aren't really marketed as a max cushion shoe, so you're gonna get a snappy, more responsive feel anyways from the midsole. The problem is that it does begin to die out a little prematurely. I'm losing some of that snap and some of that comfort now with just around 100 miles in the shoe. It's not a deal breaker by any means. It's certainly a good race shoe for those shorter efforts, but I find myself going anywhere between 12 and 14 miles and getting the foot pain underneath, something I wasn't getting initially in the shoe. Otherwise, that's kind of it for dislikes. The Torrent has been a go-to shoe for me for the shorter efforts, a lot of fast miles in the shoe. I think a lot of you will get a kick out of it mm, and enjoy your time running in the Torrent. It's a dynamite shoe that is also holding up a lot better than I thought it would after about 100 miles. So. In conclusion, let's get a little bit more specific. The build quality of the shoe, uh, I'm impressed with how Hoka built this up. I think that the upper with this additional welded overlay along the entire perimeter helps a lot with durability. There's no failures on the connection point between the midsole and upper, which is nice for a change. Like pinky toes aren't popping out of the upper, you're getting enough space up front. So I think the build quality of the materials are using spot on, at least to this point. We'll see how it holds up in the long run. Comfort, 
Awesome initially, again, the midsole begins to flatten a little bit as you start to wear in the miles, a little prematurely. But if you're looking for a fast shoe that doesn't have all that cushion, all that pillowy goodness, this would be a really fun shoe that actually harkens a little bit to the Solomon Ride. It was one of my favorite shoes from last year. Just a bit more in the midsole department. Fit, this is gonna be the biggest issue with the shoe. I, I am getting fitment issues across the midfoot. I think the toe box is fine, ankle, great. But having to readjust my laces on the fly multiple times on a run, it just becomes bothersome and I wish I didn't have to do it. It'd be nice to just set it and forget it. So the fitment, make sure it fits your feet first. Price at $119, that's actually a pretty good price, especially with the last Hoka that I reviewed being $170, so expensive. $119 bucks is a pretty good price for a shoe that'll get you through a ton of races, a lot of good training, a lot of fun. So yeah, it's not bad. And looks, again, subjective, but I think that this colorway is probably one of the best of the four in the men's department. I think uh, women's has a number of varieties as well. But it's nice to see them open up the options, provide a couple more colorways for funsies. Bringing us to our final point, is the Hoka One One Torrent worth a buy, a try, or is it a why? I'm giving this one a buy because the price point, I think the experiences I've had in the shoe have all been relatively positive. I think you'll have a lot of fun in the shoe, especially if you're going for the shorter races, anywhere from half marathon, trail marathon, that sort of thing. You get plenty of grip, plenty of durability, a lot of fun, a lot of smiles per mile. So that pretty much wraps up my review of the Hoka One One. Remember, if you want any more info on the shoe or you want to grab a pair for yourself, I have links in the description to Running Warehouse where you not only support the channel, but you also get a great deal on the kick. So check that out. And I throw the question to you, have you run in the Hoka One One Torrents? Do you like them in the comments of this video? Let me know what you guys are thinking about the shoe. I know a lot of our viewers like to see varying opinions on the products we review. So it's a great opportunity to share your thoughts on the Hoka One One Torrent. That my friends is it. If you like this review, make sure you like, favorite and subscribe to this channel, you also want to click the little bell for notifications because each day this week we're dropping a new review. You're not going to want to miss those. Social media links, there's a couple of those. And if you want to support the channel at as little as a dollar a month, you basically can sign up at patreon.com slash the ginger runner. There's cool perks on the back end, lots of stuff happening now. We're building up to the GRGR on October 7th. Uh, you get the point. Consider it. And that, my friends, is it. I hope you are getting out there, training hard, racing harder, and partying the hardest. We'll see you guys tomorrow for another review. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. You're great. Yes to you. Okay, bye-bye. One, one. One, one. One, one. People are going to love this.